no place to sleep There is nothing to eat say it's just like dum 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 you know it's like we're always interested in music and, and technology and uh, you know synthesizers and people and emotions and you know everything coming in to make you music you know you make music every day it's difficult to like say this is what it is and this is what it is it's just a cumulative thing of always being open to ideas really. Got to the point where you've seen it, done it, rewritten the book re-edited it again and put another reprint out and these days I just go for spontaneity. I've realised that no matter what goes on, if it feels good, go for it. Uh, and actually the first residency I had as a DJ, I didn't like it because it was before the DJ was able to bring his own records. Actually I had to work with whatever records were in the club. So it wasn't very creative and I actually stopped DJing and got into production and remixes. And I only got back into DJing in the sort of like early 90s. Started making music in 1992, so if it was exactly the same, it would be a bit dull. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's hopefully it sort of keeps the same, but does different things. You know, you want to keep, you know, we still like the similar things in music, but that rush of excitement and of the twist and of something different. And uh, hopefully, it still has that thirst for something fresh. You know, but as for just making the same music we made then, hopefully not. But, same spirit. I must admit, I'm quite a big fan of chemicals when they play out. I love the kind of, uh, I don't care what's trendy at the moment. I don't care, all the, you know, I'm not I'm just going to start slanging off things now. <laughs> uh, you know, just do, do your thing, you know. That's what I like in the DJ actually. It's people have got their thing and that's it. And that's that's what it's all about. It's being sincere and doing your own thing. You know, if you just want to play the same things as other people, there's no point. You know. Right yeah, I mean, I mean, some people do it really well. You know, but then that's what I mean. They do it really well. That's not very interesting. Doing things really well, is it? You know. I always get nervous. I mean, like I said, it's not a matter of how long I've been doing it. Every time is different and I've learned that every time is different no matter what. So 
yeah, I'm always nervous. I always prepare. I always try to figure out, okay, what angle can I take this? And of course, the angle I thought about is not the one that's going to work. So it's pretty much always, <laughs> always the same thing. So it's always improvising. And that's kind of the best thing about it because if it's improvisation, it's never going to be twice the same thing. And it's always going to keep me on my toes. So I like this idea that, you know, no matter well prepared you think you'll be, it's not going to be like that. Well, probably be the beginning of the season, and then you know, and then you've kind of you can see how the people are, what they're enjoying, what they're into, how they're reacting, and so you know, of course, you've got the full confidence there. But I'm always I'm always nervous before a new gig, so of course, beginning of the season, yes, and then the rest of the season, you know, confidence is on top. You arrive in a place, you don't necessarily know what it is. You see what's happening, you see the crowd, and you have to pretty much adapt and compose with it and get them into your groove and it's always a challenge and still to this day like years after it's still the same challenge to me and that's pretty much what keeps it exciting for me I mean I've been doing it for a while but even places I've been like many times like here I mean every time I came here was a different situation even though it's the same club it's the same time of the year it's one year apart still I come here and I see a different you know vibe and you know it's a big challenge for me to get the people who are there into my kind of sound. And if I succeed, I'm really, really happy. particularly about DJing because we've been in the studio for six to seven months quite solidly making music have a lot of new stuff to play and we're building towards you know putting together a live set out of the music we made so it's hard really to distinguish they all kind of work together as one very exciting whole. Well really the inspiration is you know it's the same thing that got me to do it in, in, in the beginning and that was ages ago it's that I want to share the music that I like, I want to share music that I feel maybe not enough people know or not enough people get to hear and I want to bring that to people and I want to make them enjoy it and my main goal is to make them you know just enjoy music they might not be used to and just to share that music from me to them. Well. The last time we did an album at all, it was great. It was one of the best experiences probably we've, we've done. We don't know what's in the future, but last time it was a great memory. Yeah, I think we put on like a great show. I think everything that we were, you know, building towards had evolved. But the visuals were just incredible. I thought like we have so much music now to, to draw from when we play live, and combining you know stuff we made 17 years ago with stuff we made over the last couple of years, it's good. I don't know. You know how it's going to feel when we next do an album, but have a good memory of the previous experience. be true it sounds true i just don't remember so yeah right well. fine